the car boot is. Anyway, here we are at the car boot now. Um, see what we can find. Seriously, our car boot's been coming wet. I reckon so. It oh. must be because it's not you don't see very advertising. Well, Kettering got rid of theirs. It's not a lot of people. Yeah. It's got your pound. Guys, well, nice welcome to a what? New new playlist type video series here on Still Image Productions. This is our car boot, first car boot and haul. What are we going to call this? Car boot haul number yeah. one? What do I mean? Car boot, car boot haul episode one. Exactly. Yeah. It's only because you had a rare Saturday off, I was able to, to go to the car boot on Saturday. Yeah, very rare Saturday for me, but luckily I've got two more to come, but I don't know what the weather's going to be like this weekend. If it's nice Saturday morning, we'll try it again. And then we'll see what happens. But anyway, um, this is actually what we bought from the car boot. But first of all, we'll show you some footage from the car boot first. Yes, you might have already saw this in yesterday's vlog, is it? Is that yesterday's vlog? Sunday's vlog. Oh yeah, because we are 24 hours behind. behind. Yes, yeah, so it's Sunday's vlog. So... From Saturday's vlog, here is the bits we recorded from Film Me A Car Boot Sale. Just to let you know, Film Me A Car Boot Sale is on every Saturday all the way up to the 9th of December, I think it was said. I think so, and then it's safe thinking about the 15th, 17th of March. March. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, people are interested, it is, if you've got a car for selling, it's £10 per pitch. And then if you just if you just buy in like us, it's a pound per car, which is a great idea because obviously you can pick up loads and loads of bargains. You'll see from the bargains what we brought. And uh, the Fimir car boot sales at the Fimir Aerodrome, which is on the A421, which is just off the A43 as you come. Well, M40, A43. It's all signposts. It's just Milton Keynes, Buckingham. It's quite easy to get to. So without further ado, let's run our usual logo and let's have a look at the footage from Saturday. We'll see you in a bit. Now, um, see what we can find. Seriously, our car boot's been coming wet. I reckon so. It must be because it's not you don't see very advertising. Well, Kettering got rid of theirs. It's not a lot of people. Yeah. It's got your pound to pay some fun, actually. I guess not too bad. So we have to pay a pound to get in. And I think it's traded. It's about ten pound for a car, isn't it? A small car. So it looks like there's a few up here that we can get. I know Sally wants some more books if he hasn't got enough books already. I'll hold your hand, Daddy. He'll hold Daddy's hand over the home of his hand. It looks like there's a few up here. Hopefully, I won't get. Oh, you can't film up here today. Like I did yesterday. Oh. That's it's stupid because it's a public place. But yeah, anyway, let's have another look. So At the car boot. Coming up to the next Ryan now. Let's run this with them. Look at what bargains they got. Yeah. So I want to check what the bargains they got. That's it. It's only 20 to 9, but early, we're early at the minute, aren't we? Let's go on this way so they got round here. Only We haven't bought anything yet. We've only just gone on. Hey, go. I think I think things I like. All those porcelain dollies over there. <laughs> This is what there is in here. CDs, 50 pieces of CD. Oh. Turn around in a minute, aren't we? I'll find a thing at the minute, yeah, aren't we? And start with me. You are? You're just finding something for you, I. What do you want then? Books. Want some more books? Uh, we find some more books. Okay. And, and more DVDs and Blu rays we need. Yeah, okay, we'll see. Let's we'll see what there is. Oh, this one goes, oh, that one goes towards the end. Oh, wow, aren't they cute? Hang on, sweetheart. So quite a few cars up here today, though, aren't there? I'm going to find nothing yet, though. I think sometimes you can be lucky what you buy. Got up here, Sunny. DVDs over here. Those cards, I think, over there. Is it there you want, Sunny? Can you have a look? I've got 
Son of the Queen. Snow, the Snow Queen, yeah, you got the Snow Queen DVD, haven't you? It's a bit like Frozen, that was apparently. So, More got a few bits so face. far. Um, Ben Simone is not very happy. So, they're having to walk. So. There's some books. Yeah, you'll also say wants to find some more books as if he hasn't got enough books. So, yeah, so hopefully we'll just find a few bargains up here that we like. Ben Holly, you want that one? Let's see, Sam has found the books. If he hasn't got enough books, he wants to find some more. So, you want, so you want that one, Ben Holly? Any more you want? Roll doll there, fantastic Mr. Fox. So, let's see what there is around there for me he wants. Oh, what's the matter, Ben? Oh, You're very happy. That's good. I just got lots of true books. You got some books, a couple of books and stuff, haven't you? Yeah. So, you calm down now, Ben? Yeah? yeah. Just realised now he's had to walk. On this way. Up this aisle, down this aisle. Up this aisle, down this aisle, and halfway up the other, all right. So, we got a few bits so far. We'll show you what we've got later. You know, all uh -huh. that's we here. Up this way, darling, yeah. Up this way. Up this way. Yeah, there's quite a few people up there actually. Look, all the old push chairs there. Mm. Mm. Go down this way, this way, down this way. Down this way. Who mm. can't go past it is the. Lip lock end. It's a train. Oh, we're over bed car. We're over bed in. Yeah, I remember that made them, yeah. DVDs, and what DVDs they got. Oh, and that's one I haven't got. Can't pick it up. I haven't got that one. Ben J. Here you go, Ben J. Where is it? Yeah. 15 DVDs for 150s to 10p each. It's really great. And um, the car boot. The car boot, yeah. Um, found a couple I want to see, found a couple he wanted. We also found a couple for Ben as well. It's great when you can pick them up for those sort of prices. Um, obviously, Ben's calmed down a bit now. It's still a bit stressy, but it's calmed down a bit what you had. And then, so we're off to get sauces and chips. Just found now. more books for Sammy. Yeah. Haven't we? Yeah. So. Off we go. It's quite quiet up here now. It's, it was busy then, so it's gone quiet again. I'm so, now. you hungry, Gabe? Yeah. Well, oh, no, we're making our way to the sausage and chips place, so don't worry. I'm sure we can come here for sausage and chips, you know. I don't want that actually. I want bacon roll. Here it is, come on let's find somewhere to, if you can find somewhere to sit. Yeah. Sammy, over here. Over here. Sit down then. So here we go, we're going to have sausage and chips. That's the usual, waiting for Sammy. He's such a slow eater. What have you got? you got sausage and chips. Ben is about to have sandwich drink. Are you going to eat chips on the way then? Some Halloween, bits and pieces there. Uh, my sausage. You got your sausage there. Yeah. What's I've got over here? Let's have a look. Are they nice? Just around a pound each. These have got plenty of clothes. Look at that frozen picture. Lots of bubble wrap. Ben's getting so fussy, are you now? He's so, so fussy now what he eats. Nope, no bread, no chips. Almost but he has to have gluten free bread anyway, but even so. He does not like, no, he's so fussy now. Look, got the 2018 calendars. Oh no! We do not now. Yeah. What I got to do there? Is it the there? You 
got enough books now, Sammy. Mm -hmm. I've got more DVDs on there. That's what DVDs I've got. Right, guys. So that was the footage from Saturday. And right now we're going to show you what we've picked up. So this is totally new for me. I would like to be doing this in front of my DVD collection, but I haven't got that sort of space to do this in front, have I? No, you haven't, no. No. Maybe in the future we convert the garage into a room. But anyway, this is what she brought from the car boot. So let's take a look, shall oh. we? We've got two big massive bagfuls. Right, we went to a guy who was basically selling DVDs for MP. Yeah, man, she got 15 DVDs for £1.50, which, which we thought was a really great idea. Right, and what we picked up was... Um, got Tommy Lee Jones in US Marshals. This is one of those old... Cheryl remembers these very well, don't you? Oh, those horrible Casey <laughs> these ones. Are the first, these have got to be the first ever DVDs came out like this, didn't they? Well, they're the double-sided discs, I think they yeah, are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah double-sided ones. At the end of the day, I'm not complaining for 10p. Look, these are the old double-sided discs. If I remember rightly, you got one half of the film, one side, one half of the other, was it? I think so. No, yeah, well, I'll have a look at this. But these are not, they're not even been, not damaged, are they? They're not no. scratched at all. Not scratched at all, actually. There might be a couple of fingerprints on them, but apart from that, there's nothing else on them at all. Yeah, my fingerprints are just put on there. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. There's that. As you can see, all the chapters and everything else. It's U.S. Marshall. Okay. That's and, uh, one DVD. I'll pass this bag over to Cheryl. She can pick one up. Oh, this is all, yeah. As, as you can see, it's nice and rather big bag. <coughs> um, next one we got was Simpsons movie. Um, remember, this was Ben's first movie, I think it was, when we took in cinema. Saw in the cinema, yeah. Yeah, so obviously yeah. there's a back as well. You as can you see. can see, this is a modern day it is a modern day one, yeah. Modern day DVD, as you can tell, proper front sided for the label. And not even a single scratch on that. Look. I know. Perfect. We just wanted to need it by Mon eBay, actually, it's a job lot or something like that, you never know, do you? Yeah. So. Since he's leaving, this is going up in Ben's room because he likes this film. Yeah. Right Stephen's favourite, one of Stephen's favourites from. Well, I've never really seen that. You know, not being nice, I know it's Jim Carrey, Harry. but it's not really It's Ace of Ventura and Nature Calls, as you can tell, it's quite one of the horrible well, case. flipper cases. Oh, flipper cases. Again. It's a normal, normal disc. Normal disc. So, but... What's the quality of the disc like? Let's have a look, shall we? Not too bad. There's no scratches on it. No scratches on it. No, okay, a few fingerprints, but nothing major. No, well, fingerprints are alright. Scratches that matter. Exactly. Next one. And then, you won't believe I got this for 10 p This is mm. complete series, what's that, five? Yeah, five. series five of Friends on DVD. As you can tell, they're in the old flipper cases. The old flipper cases, as you can see. And the discs inside are... Not, they're the double-sided ones, aren't they're they? They're double-sided ones. These have got a bit of a scratch on it because... The uh, middle bit inside is damaged. You can't really help that. They're not so. too bad though, are they? No, not too bad. Now that's Friends Series 3. I think that's Series 5, I mean. Series 5, I think that's all the episodes. I'm not too quite sure, actually. 1 to 8, 9 to 16, and 17 to 23. Yeah. That's complete Series 5. For 10 I Oh no. As you can see, wins that. One thing Sammy Sammy picked up was this the catchphrase DVD game. Sammy absolutely loves catchphrase, so I'm not too quite sure how this not too quite sure how this works, but it's worth to give it a try. Give it up inside. Let's see, say what you see. DVD game. It's a DVD game. We all, I don't think we actually got. I don't think we actually got any DVD games to be honest with you. I used to have a deal or no deal one, but got rid of it. I never got rid of it because the yeah, the, the fun bit boring. But now Simon likes the catchphrase. It'd be fun to put that. Chris, you know what? That'd be funny phrase. Chris would say to mum and dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, now he plays. Does it just stop or just what? Or... I'm not too. It doesn't say. Mm. Okay. Any number can play. You got to put the DVD remote control between the two teams. Oh, I got. Pause it. Yeah, you've got to pause it, looks like. 
Mm. So it should be fun. It should be good for fun anyway, shouldn't it? Yeah. That's so and there's catchphrase. Catch on DVD. Here's the DVD, but catchphrase. And then we've got series. Yeah, here we go. Series three episodes one to eight. My friends, I don't know where the box has gone from this, but it's looking like there was a box for this this one. But yeah, we can't complain for ten p for these. There you go. Series three of friends on a double flipper disc. They're yours as well. You put it for yourself. And then we've got um, Matt Damon in the Born Supremacy and the Born Identity, both for ten p each. And uh, these ones are, of course, these are more modern day releases. And uh, this uh, perfect. That, as you can tell, in the light, not in a single scratch on them, just a few fun prints. That one. And Born Supremacy. As you can see, in there. Not bad. I picked this one up for myself. Dance in the Nice 2007. It's on their life tour. Um, I believe Dance and Ice is coming back. Isn't it, it is supposed to be coming back, yeah. I don't know what, I think it's probably the new year, I think, so that should be good. Oh, so there's a back, it's all from the life. Not, not too much for celebrities on here. Looks like that was a gift, that was got a. Uh, looks like it was, like yeah, Chris, front, yeah, Christmas 2007. So it's like it might have been. Like to, to somebody, love somebody. <laughs> yeah, but what's it like in size? Well, it isn't too bad in size. Maybe it's a picture disc, not like Disney can do on their yeah. plain. <laughs> Boring discs. What's the quality of it like? Right? Not too it's bad. Thumbprints. It's got it's a little tiny scratch on there, nothing major. Mm, okay. Thumbprints. Yeah. That's that one. And then just a random pickup. This is uh oh, I can't remember who stars in this. Oh yeah. Vinny Jones. Yeah, I remember Vinnie Jones. You remember Vinnie Jones, don't you? I remember Vinnie Jones, yeah. yeah. What about Dexter Fletcher? You remember him? No, I don't remember Dexter Fletcher. He was in Press Gang. Oh, was he? Yeah. Okay. You remember, remember Press Gang, I remember Press Gang, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. I've never really seen this film. Seriously, just over the last so many years, I haven't really had a chance to watch anything. And this is another flipper disc. As you can tell, there you go, that's that one. And then we're back to more Friends. We've got Series 3, Episodes 17 to 25. Friends again. And this is a flipper disc. Okay, there you go. And then we've got the complete series six of Friends as well. This is in more of a modern day, modern day release. As you can tell. Oh, we've got what's this card here? Oh, it's just a copyright thing. Yeah. Series six, uh, episode one to eight. Oh, they are flipper discs. As you can tell, they are flipper discs. That one. Yeah. Yeah. That one. And then we've got seven series six, seventeen to twenty-five. Some friends there. This one okay. Yeah. And Series 6, 9, 16, that one there, and flip a disc again. I got this myself, Pirates of the Caribbean, It's the Curse of the Black Pearl. For being a, Disney, for being a big massive Disney fan, I'm not too quite sure why I haven't got this one. Um, anyways, this is a two disc one. Okay, oh. okay. Got a bonus copy of Armageddon in this one for some reason. Okay. 
I hate to say it, but that looks like an illegal copy. What that does? That does. That do, that does look like it's legal copy. Actually, you can see. That looks like an illegal copy. That is an illegal copy. You can see yeah. that. Look. As you can tell by the writing on the bottom, unless it's not not an illegal copy, it's a foreign disc. I don't know. It doesn't that, look very. You know, it does not look look very promising to me. It doesn't, does it? Yeah, by the region two region, it looks like it's over Africa. Yeah. Oh, never seen that before. I haven't actually. Anyway, as you can see, the discs aren't too bad, which is great for that one. So that that one is for that one. Sammy loves Mr. Bean. Don't know, he's Mr. Bean uh, mad. These came from a separate person. These ones. Oh, they did. Yeah, these all come from a separate person. These ones. These three did. But obviously, Sammy loves Mr. Bean. So I managed to get these for, was it three for a pound, I think it was? Yeah, we've got Johnny English. As you can tell, it's got a, it's Johnny English, got a CEX sticker on the bottom of it. And uh, there you go. Johnny English there. Uh, the disc is a bit, as you can tell, it's got a bit of a... Well, yeah, but you have, to, you have to take that risk of it when you're buying car bits and second-hand yeah. stuff. These Blu rays don't scratch. How, many, how much were these? Can you remember? Three for a pound, I think they were. Yeah, do you want any dish there? Don't want that too bad. Got Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean. Yeah, we'll never forget this one with a turkey on the end. That's mm. quite funny, isn't yeah. it? And inside. Would you believe I saw this this afternoon when we were out? You'll see it in tomorrow's vlog. And also, Mr. Bean, your Twitch did ask me if this is his first movie in Winter America, isn't it? This one. Oh, yeah, and destroyed that painting. <laughs> oh, yeah, that bit, yeah, that's funny, that one was, wasn't it? So. Yeah. And there's inside. I'd be well. asking, I would love Rowan Atkinson to reprise his role as Mr. Bean again. That'd be quite funny, actually, wasn't it, that one? Yeah. Oh, no, I know he's doing another Johnny English. That is definitely for certain. Yeah. Yeah, it's Mr. Bean, as you can see. And then Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. One film I have not seen for a very long time. And sometimes you have to check and wonder about some of these discs if they're not, you know, legal copies. You know, now it's the first time I'm looking at these properly. It makes you wonder, does, wonder what they're like. But for what, for what you pay for them, you know, you can't complain. Like another thing I picked <coughs> up was the Snow Queen. And that came from another it seller. It came from another seller, this one did. But anyway, it was only about 50p, I think it were. Yeah. Um, obviously, Snow Queen is actually based on what Frozen was based on. And Christian Lansen. As you can see on the back, you can actually see more or less the same sort of thing where Frozen come from. Obviously, the polar bears probably um, Olaf and Anna mm -hmm. and Elsa. There that one and then Cheryl picked up I picked oh, up oh yeah DS game DS game Jamie for DS game it was only 25p um I quite like Jamie Oliver <coughs> some of the recipes he does are great I believe he's doing a gluten-free book sometime as well which would be ideal for help us with them so obviously since I've still got other things inside not too quite sure how this goes yet so I'll have to put my DS and find out how it goes that's that one and I also picked up this as well, Jungle Book 2, Ace Look It's Still Sealed. Have you seen that artwork before? Like that? No, I've never seen this artwork before. It's totally different to my... It's definitely a British release because it's got the... Yeah, it's definitely a British release. You can see a different release on the back. But sometimes I find the DVD it's quite, artwork... It's, I didn't... I guess and you the didn't, re didn't realise it was sealed. Yes, yeah, it's still sealed. It's, it's brand new. Yeah. You brand new factory sealed. Yeah, and you paid a pound for it. So... Does Cheryl want to unbox it or not? No, not yet. <laughs> I'll unbox it, I'll probably unbox it in a separate vlog. Yeah, Jungle Book 2, that's a special edition. And uh, look at the back there, you see the special bonus features on it. Okay, that's that one. And then the last one from that cellar. And the last one from that cellar, it's uh, Lethal Weapon 4. Not a show, not a film I haven't seen for a while. As you can tell, not a flipper disc. I'm gonna to have to try these out and see what they're like and let you know how they how they went. Please have 10p each, you can't complain 10p each though can you really? 
It'd be nasty. Sometimes these old flipper discs like this. Oops. That'll do it good. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> That'll do it good. Mean? These old cases, I don't know, do you prefer these to the old, to the new style? I don't know, they seem to be... I wonder if these cost a lot less to make like this. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah. Or probably factory seal or whatever. Yeah, this was the early days of DVD when they first came out. Oh, in, yeah. in, I'd come over with loads and loads of those like that. Yeah, I think we've still got one in there, Miss Congeniality. I think we have actually. And also, as you've seen from previous vlogs, Sammy loves his books. Fortunately, we can't go to the car boot without Sammy picking up some books. He's so, got some Ben and Holly. He's got Ben and Holly, The Lost Egg. And this was Gaston's Messy Cave. Mm -mm. So I hate to say I like Nanny Plum. And Nanny Plum, her voice on that. She's also the voice of Miss Rabbit on Pepper Pig, though, isn't she? So, yeah. hey, and Michelle from Heart Breakfast, if you're watching this, she sounds like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so anyway, no dog. Probably let Sammy tell you all about his books because he absolutely loves those. And one more thing Sammy picked up was... He's a big Play-Doh fanatic. He is big. He loves... Sammy does love his Play-Doh. This was... What was this? A pound? pound, yeah. I think it were. Obviously, they don't know what it is. It's a drill and fill thing, apparently. Um, apparently, the person said they still play their own side, so we'll have to have a look later to see what it's like. Can't be, can't be playing with Play-Doh. I find it quite enjoyable. Myself. It is, actually. It can be quite therapeutic, can not it, that one? Yeah. So, anyway, that's one bag. We'll just get into the second bag for you now. And uh, you've got that. And, uh, oh, yeah, Ben got that. Ben grabbed this off a uh, stall as he walked by it. Well, um, it's a Bob the Builder it's toy Bob thing, Bob the isn't Builder it? Snow sledge type thing, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Like that. Anyway, we're back to the second bag now. Right. Bag number two. Let's, mm. let's save this one till last. Save that one till last. Uh, this one's books. This one's books. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some more books from Sammy, unfortunately. He got Horrid Henry Meets the Queen. Horrid Henry's Knits. And Horrid Henry and the Secret Club. He absolutely loves Horrid Henry. Obviously, the books, you can actually read these himself because it's quite. I know obviously it takes him probably a week or so to read them, but he can actually read these himself, which he loves. Another going up into his big book library upstairs. Exactly. And also this one he wanted as well, Horrible Histories, The Wicked History of the World. He loves it at Warwick Castle, doesn't he? With the he horrible loves the Horrible histories history and, show. And the maze. Yeah. He also loved the one which was down Butlins, was it, last year? Yeah, before I think. Something, something like that. Yeah, anyway, if I can show you quickly, show this one here. It tells you all about inside what happens and stuff. Here. So, yeah, this wasn't too bad as well, actually. Because obviously, it's good because Sammy reads loads and loads of fiction. It'd be nice to get in and show him some facts. Of course, at least we're buying something he likes, he'll probably be able to get into it more. So, that was that one. Oh, it's a big bot on here. What else we got here? Let's move out of the way. Cheryl picked up two CDs. I don't know if these are to keep or to pass on. Uh, Shania Twain, uh, come on over, and that's quite an old album. It is quite an old album, actually. 1998. I know. Yeah. You can tell by the other songs <laughs> on there, some of them quite knowable. They are, actually, some of them, yeah, they're quite them. So, you just thought the one was on that wedding song. Yeah. That's why I picked it. That's why this one I picked this one up for, because it's on that wedding one, this one, and from this moment. And uh, she's got Madonna. I don't know why she picked McDonald's, I don't really like McDonald's. I know, there's some songs in here I like, so. And then Sammy wanted, I'm sure he's got this up there. I think he has actually, but he uh, wanted 2007 it, 2007 so. annual, if, he's got, if this is an annual, he's going to have it upstairs, because he's got quite a few annuals upstairs. This he is Thomas has. Thomas annual. And then do you want to do them too? Yeah, and for myself, I obviously said like Jamie Oliver, I managed to pick up, they already... 50p each of these books and I thought they were great. It's Happy Days with a Naked Chef. I know it's quite, I know these books are quite old, but they're quite useful. Some of the recipes in here are quite useful. Look, flour and water cr crushed chicken sounds quite nice, doesn't it? And then also I've got this one here. Superb roast beef and breastpers and Hugh Yorkies. They sound quite nice. And then finally I got the Jamie Oliver James Dinners. Not book there. I thought they looked quite good. It just goes proof how old this book is. Like it's, it's got its two little kiddies. Look how young his kids look on there. I must admit, it's got 
four or five now, isn't he? Yeah, it's amazing how quick they grow up. It is. So this is that one. Yeah. Look down with a simple baked lasagna. So they're quite sound quite nice. They do some of these books on here. The fish chips and mushy peas sound quite nice. And then Stephen's back with his one he liked himself. And then uh, I walked past the lady's stall. Uh, that was the last one we picked up, wasn't this one was? Yeah, basically she said she bought this for her husband, but he didn't like it or didn't want it or something like that. He know. didn't like it, but he liked it. Um, but you did. Uh, I jumped on this. I know this was a fiver, but I thought it was worth it. This is... Look at the size of this. This is the Ice Road Truckers exclusive DVD and book. This was the... This is their new for 2011, so this lady's had this for the last, what? Seven years. Five, six, seven years, yeah. And he's... This picture here is from series one of Ice Road Truckers. And in this one we've got Then and Now DVD there and we've got a book on Alex Dewagorski, the king of the ice road and you think this guy here is still in series 11 now who's that? Just, uh, Alex. oh Alex yeah he, he was at he was at truck fest a few years back but we never did go to them back then mm. and uh, we've been fascinated with the Eddie Stobart truckers over the last few years which has now died a death but you like you did like the Asia truckers, didn't you? Anyway. Yeah, we, we've met as you saw on the vlog earlier on in the year. We've met. Uh, I forget his name now. Todd. Todd, yeah. Todd and Lisa Todd from my and, Todd and Lisa, Lisa from my yeah. truckers. Uh, if you open this up, as you can see, it's quite a nice set, really. Look, there's Who Roland, and uh, there's Alex Dabrowski, and this is where they were riding the the James W. Dalton Highway in Alaska. There you go, as you can tell. But the new series is now concentrated on Polar Industries, which are Canada based, aren't they? They are, yeah, based in Alaska and stuff, aren't they? Open this up again, that it's quite a nice set, really. It is a nice set, isn't it? Yeah, as you can see, the DVD and the book are still sealed, and that's the way they'll stay for now. And because uh, I think I've got this copy in the big box set upstairs. I think you have, but you, you haven't got the book the way for you, so. No, there you go, it's quite good. So that's all from the car boot, and I'll just show you the back. Oh, I've already showed you the back. There you go. So that's quite nice. And then that's all from the car boot. But this morning, this is an eBay pickup. First ever on Blu-ray. Yeah, series three of Ice Road Truckers. Never had these on Blu-ray before. No. Well, these are quite rare to find on Blu-ray. Would love to have all these on Blu-ray, wouldn't you? Because especially how much space do you want to take? Because those big box sets are about that big anyway, about your box. Yeah. So. Yeah, but these are special editions. They are special items. editions, aren't they, those ones? Yeah. There you go, there's that one. That's going to stay sealed for now, so I'm not going to unbox that one because I've already got it on DVD upstairs. That's series number three of Ice Road Truckers. As you can see, there's Alex and Lisa on the cover. Okay, Cheryl. What do you think to that? Yeah, so she saw the our bargains we picked up. Um, being honest, I was quite surprised we managed to pick everything up what we did. Um, yeah. well, I was quite surprised because sometimes I just got there and don't come around with nothing. Exactly, we got Pacific Manga bags for us. So hopefully, if the weather's nice. Oh, by we the way, this was only three quid on eBay. That's oh, all. Three yeah. quid for a Blu ray. It's also the same for Stephen Rudy, which wrote to me. Um, hopefully, on Saturday, the weather's nice, we'll go back up again. And then hopefully pick up some more bargains. And wait till then, we'll see you soon. Bye. See you on the next car boot haul. Hopefully it'll be soon. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.